guys, what is up? It's Patrick from One Life Journey, and here is today's tiny house update. So let's start with at the back of the house here. And as you can see, we uh, today we started to do some of the cedar siding on the back of the house because uh, we got another hot day. Uh, isn't it October? It's supposed to be fall weather. Nope, today was 91 degrees. Kind of a hot one. So before the sun hit this side of the house, we started uh, installing some of the cedar siding. And it's uh, it's looking really, really nice. take you around to the other side and I'll show you what it looks like over there. So here's the back of the house here and you can see the uh, little bird house I guess you'd call it for the hot water heaters finished I think I mentioned that in my last video and uh, they the homeowners came and did a little bit of work on the inside and on the outside they also installed the vent pipe for the hot water heaters you can see sticking out of the back there um, the little black tube they cut that down to size And on the back side of the trailer, I guess this is called the back side of the trailer here, um, you can see we've had uh, quite a go at installing the cedar siding. Uh, and started installing this last week. And uh, we got a fair, we got, see, last week we got till about here. And today we did this bit. So this bit and then on the other side we did some as well. Um, we also installed um, the sliding glass door. And I believe all the windows were installed last time. Um, but all the windows are in, and they look great. Um, and that sliding glass door was heavy, so it took three of us to install it and put it in. Um, but yeah, again, so there's not going to be any trim on the outside of of these, uh, or around the outside of the windows. Um, so the tolerances are very, very close. Let's go up and take a look. So here you can see just how close we have to get to the vinyl casing of the sliding glass door. And we are going to caulk in here to make it all nice and weather tight, but um, no trim, so tolerances are pretty close. So here on the inside, the homeowners have been here and they brought some of the furniture that's going to go uh, in the kitchen. These are some of the kitchen cabinets that they purchased from Ikea. Um, and they went ahead and started installing them. Uh, I saw that this weekend they were here and did quite a bit of work. They brought some of the some more of the Pergo flooring. I put some of it up here. So they were here this weekend and uh, finished some of the casings for the windows and um, looks real nice, some of the trim work here. Um, they also installed the back door here. We took it off just for safekeeping um, and put it in the shed. Um, up in the corner there, you can see that they finally hung the AC unit. Uh, we trimmed out the corner windows here, one on either side, and we're having custom glass made for those corners there. Um, everything here has pretty much stayed the same. Uh, the lights are just quite a mystery to us at the moment. We're not really sure what's going on with them. Uh, let me flip around here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right now, oh, that one's out. So it's right now we have one out. So this morning we only had one of them that worked and the power, we shut the power off for a while to do some work and then we turned it back on and then every single one of them was working and we left it on all day and now I just flicked it back on and one of the other ones is burned out. So all these lights are unfortunately coming out. Um, I do not recommend installing these lights at all. These are three inch, I believe. So I have the box right over here. We'll show you what not to get. So these are Utilitech, Utilitech Pro 3 inch. And here is the number of the model you do not want to get. So don't buy these from Lowe's, garbage. Back over here to the other side, you can see in the sleeping loft area that uh, the homeowners have been busy again installing a cabinet for their clothing. 
Um, so this is where they can hang, kind of a bad shot, but this is all open here on this side. And you can, that's where they're going to hang clothes and put some of the storage. So the, the sleeping area is kind of going to be walled off here. It's going to be kind of a cozy little place to, to lay your head at night. Um, kind of hard to see with the, where they put all their stuff here. But I did all the Pergo flooring. Uh, again, the clearances have to be really tight. And yeah, I know, uh, basically within a sixteenth of an inch. So I, it took me a lot longer than it should have taken to install these floors, but I think it turned out pretty nice. And the same thing up here, we didn't do the trim yet because there's going to be um, another cabinet, I think, up here at the base of the bed. Um, so again, with the tight tolerances all the way around, but it turned out pretty nice. And they did more uh, window trim up here in the loft area. So anyways guys, thanks for watching the videos. I really appreciate all your comments and input. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, go ahead and drop it down below. Uh, like, share, favorite, as everybody says. Um, but uh, yeah, so until next time guys, thanks for watching. Later.